Hello there and welcome. Today we got the announcement that uh, our next patch is coming sometime next week, which is patch 1.8. With that, we are getting some fixes to the contracts and we're going to go through the kind of pre-patch notes here that they have released, seeing what is coming and what maybe they have missed. So let's get started. Basically, hello there folks. Thank you for your continued support. The team has been investigating reported issues and we are pleased to confirm that the next update for FO Manager 24 will be coming to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation next week, pending the usual testing and submission process. The update for Switch will be released at a later date. So Switch is getting a little bit of a, uh, you know, unfortunate treatment here that it will be released later, but I assume again that is maybe a certification issue. We'll see. But yeah, provided that the testing and submission goes well, we'll get this patch sometime next week. So the early look at the patch notes for the 1.8 update is as follows. They have improved game performance during wet weather. That's going to be huge in its own right because 1.6, 1.7 kind of broke that. And it's choppy on most computers now, I think. So hopefully this will fix that. We can go back to the uh, looking pretty mod. Fix the UI softlock that could occur during the race. Now, I believe there's still a couple of different UI softlocks that could occur. So we'll have to see exactly which one this has fixed. But this is always a welcome, uh, always a welcome thing to hear. The staff, contracts, and hiring. Fix staff and facility effects not returning to normal, to normal at the end of a sponsorship engagement period. What this means, I assume, is that we will now get <laughs> things like scouts back. People are still missing them, and also facility effects. Some eff some effects actually do create some pretty hilarious uh, boosts. Put it that way. So it's very good that they are fixing this. It's going to make uh, the game run probably a little bit better. And also, again, we'll have to see if this is retroactive or not. People who with scouts who are missing might still need to start a new save simply because of the fact that, uh, well, end of sponsorship engagement period. So this might trigger at the end of the period. But if that end of the period has already happened for all the saves, it might not fix it. We'll have to wait and see, though. Fixed drivers or staff with agreed future contracts being poached by another team when entering a new season. So basically, this should kind of tell you that uh, we're no longer going to be seeing staff and drivers being poached if they already have a future contract agreed, which is a good thing, honestly. It's kind of weird to see those contracts break. I still think they can be poached out of them, to be fair. But at the end of the season, that's not a uh, that's not a good place to do it, to put it like that. Fixed drivers or staff being posted shortly after stating they had no intention of leaving. We've all been here. It's a very frustrating thing to see, but hopefully this will mean now that no longer will our staff say that they're staying and then just go, sorry, I lied, bye bye. Which is a good change. Fixed AI teams making contract offers to drivers or staff they have already agreed a future contract with. So this basically sounds like the AI has been giving contract offers to staff and drivers they've already signed, putting them kind of in a loop where they are just giving them more contracts over and over again. This is a good fix because I can imagine it not being good for the game and also one of the reasons why uh, staff might be getting poached, drivers too for that matter. I, I don't exactly know here, the wording is a little bit weird, but it sounds like they're just re-signing staff and drivers they've already signed which again is pointless so good change fixed ai teams leaving driver or staff position vacant at the start of second season good change fixed breakout clauses not being paid for both drivers or staff this one's kind of huge because this means that we're finally getting paid for the ai picking up our drivers and staff and we can now make an affiliate kind of bank account if you will basically we can turn our affiliates into money by making sure the breakout clauses are pretty high. We'll have to see how aggressive the AI is with the po uh, poaching and if it's actually possible to kind of abuse the system to get infinite money. So I'm looking forward to seeing if this system is set up well or if it is abusable. But we'll test that once patch 1.8 comes out sometime next week. Increased likelihood of AI teams promoting affiliates into vacant positions. This one's good. It's something that has been recommended and honestly, Affiliates being put into vacant positions is a good change as that is going to allow them to uh, 
well, promote the younger drivers. The only question I would have about this, is there a limit to overall? Are they going to promote a 60 overall driver if they have a, let's say, 80 free agent somewhere that they could have picked up instead? There's going to need to be some balance here, but it's a good change. Fixed driver staff changes email not displaying future contracts. Mostly a quality of life change, but a nice one. Text cases of AI teams replacing drivers already on long-term contracts. This should mean we'll no longer see a free uh a free a free Max Verstappen at the start of the second season. So hopefully this is gonna fix things like that. We'll have to see. But all the contracts and staff patch notes just kind of indicate that they've done their best now to just focus on fixing contracts, which is actually a good thing because contracts have been pretty messed up. And fixing them is going to make the game a lot better. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these changes are actually going to affect the game. Race weekend. Improved driver confidence balance. I'm also very interested to see exactly how they fix this. Or rather, how they change this. Because improved driver confidence balance could be huge. Because right now, the way that it works is that driver confidence is 90% of it. It's just a relationship between your driver and their engineer. If they have a good relationship you'll generally end up with positive confidence. If they are freshly paired together, you're going to have a confidence issue for your first season or so, which is kind of bad because it's a lot of performance and stat points that goes wasted because your engineer and your driver don't like each other for whatever reason or don't work well together. Which just makes sense because there's no personalities involved. It's basically just wait until you work better together, which makes sense in a way. But honestly, confidence impact was way too huge from this, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they balanced it, to be fair. Maybe I should go over this in a different video, but it's one of my pet peeves. Fixed outliers being timed during qualifying sessions. It's a quality of life fix, pretty nice. Doesn't really do much, but it's nice to see. Fixed background animation in race prep screen running at 16 times speed. So no longer we will have light speed staff working on the car, which is unfortunate for Sergeant. Fixed Grand Slam achievement not being awarded correctly. So a lot of players have said that they have not been getting the Grand Slam achievement when they've done what's necessary to receive it. So it's good. You can finally get that achievement if you're one of the unlucky ones. Fix missing track textures at Marina Bay. I don't have, I haven't actually noticed this myself, but again, nice of them to fix it. Fix both drivers being assigned to the same car at the start of the season. I haven't actually had this one myself, but it sounds game breaking and that might actually be why some uh, saves have kind of been bricked in the sense that they can't continue. And it's probably an effect of both drivers being put in the same car, which is bad. But hopefully this will fix it. Fix email dilemma proposing investment in another team's affiliate drivers. So again, good fix. Uh, there's no reason for you to invest into another driver's potential, so to speak. So hopefully this will keep it within the team. Fix team roster update email showing duplicate drivers so no longer we'll have the same driver in every car that email again a nice fix fix front wing sponsor slot projecting decals onto the side of the nose cone that was actually kind of weird what i assume happening is that the uh the front wing if you make it to the the decal too big it just bleeds into other areas which again is a nice fix makes it easier to design a car that looks good but yeah we're continuing to monitor your feedback for potential inclusion in future updates if your issue has not been addressed in previous patch or not listed, you can report it here. So yeah, it does kind of hint towards there might be another one. This does kind of feel like a bit of a final patch-ish kind of feeling. But I would love to see some more work being put into affiliates and also the mentality kind of deliver what was promised there. But this is a good, good patch if things work as expected. I did say the same for 1.6, I'll be honest. It seemed to be a pretty huge one. But it broke a lot more than it fixed, I'd argue. So hopefully that is not going to be the case here. Looking forward to 1.8 next week. We'll have to see exactly what it has, uh, what it will be giving us. Uh, I apologize also that I have been a few videos lately. I've just been very tired. Had the uh, the fall flu has snuck in on me right now. So you can probably hear me being not 100% uh, nose clear, if you will. Probably a little bit nasally. But yeah. Fall flu has snuck its way to my body, so to speak. I'm a little bit sick, a little bit not feeling too good. But hopefully it'll clear up over the course of this week and I'll get back into making more videos. But yeah, 1.8 patch. Preview looks good. 
Let's see if it actually delivers what it's uh, promising next week. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.